some days you can come up here and then get a dollar and some days you get nothing. It's not consistent as it used to be, but I'm grateful. So what has changed? What has made business inconsistent? Well, around this time of October, it tends to be a bit low, low key. October month is a month that you find business pretty quiet. But I must say that this time you find people coming out a little more than natural. Uh, how has COVID affected uh, your work? Well, a lot because there's over a year and a half now I haven't been to the beach. So COVID has definitely affected my work. So what kept you away from the beach? Well, due to the restrictions and there were no tourists coming to the beach. So what would you like to see happen now for the future from, from, from now till the end of the year? Well, um, in the end of the year, we want to see more tourists. And then also we like to see the folks on the boat have privilege to come to the beach as they used to come before. The COVID restriction is stopping that from happening? But at this time, the folks are not permitted to go as they were pleased on the beach that they used to go before. Before they had their own choice. Now they're placed in the bubble. Um, and only certain, beach, certain beaches they can, they can go to um, to monitor them. And Pebbles Beach is not one of the beaches that they, that they can come to. This is the first time I trying something on my own since my job was redundant after five years with a company here since COVID. Out on the beach, it up and down. You can't say every day is fishing day, but um, business drop. The tourists drop in on the island, and it would be nice if Beijing take the uh, vaccine and let us get on with it with the, with the rest of the world because it ain't like before. Our tourism isn't like before. And sales obviously hard and everything is just going up for us. And we still have families and stuff to take care of. So it roughly, you can't be dumb. Monetary vaccinations are coming. And the government should be real with the people because everybody ain't dumb. So I know for me to be here, I have to go and take the vaccine. But my issue was I'm an asthmatic. So I had to do some research to see which one would be the best. And then you're hearing that certain countries are not accepting certain vaccinated from um, people. So you got to take your time, but you, you got to do it. We take all the rest of vaccinations, polio, chicken pox. You got to take it. And for me, that no starting to have kids, I would. And as I said, going, I'm going to take it. Because they want my boy business to go, I am at still. I felt comfortable with regards to all the protocols um, and the quarantining and testing and getting the results quickly and all those things. So that was really good. We were really, really impressed with that. We were lucky we were able to quarantine at our house. We just had the security cameras up and what have you, and, and our results came through real quick. So that was okay. Um, everywhere else on the island, you know, we've been trying to do as much normal stuff. Um, we spent a lot of time in DIY stores, unfortunately, because we had a lot of work to do with the house because we haven't been here for, for two years. And so we're quite familiar now with the protocols of going into stores and the temperature taking, disinfecting, leaving details. In some places, I'd say it's really good, really, really good. Other places, it feels like they're just going through the process of making it look good. Um, they're not checking what information you're putting down um, and they're not validating that actually you've done the right thing. Other places, absolutely rock solid. Um, restaurants and bars I guess we've been eating out maybe three times a week something like that we've been going to places we're very familiar with um, I just think that just adds to a little bit of the security or safety where you know some of the people and what have you um, <coughs> and you know we're trying hard to spend money because that's what the island needs you know and not necessarily in the big chains but in the independent places and yeah, I don't know, hats off to the guys and girls who've just worked so hard against everything. Um, does it make you feel nervous when we're in anywhere? Um, only, only when people, you can see people blatantly breaking the protocols. And do you know what? The, some of the visitors are as guilty of that as the locals and vice versa. So yeah, I think everyone's just got to try a little bit harder just to do, do the simple things with the social distancing and the masks. It's no different to anywhere else in the world. 
but everyone has to try harder. Um, and you've got to get people vaccinated. You know, we know a lot of people out here who haven't been vaccinated and we're just trying to educate them and tell them the, the truth rather than some of the rubbish that maybe they see on social media. Um, you know, I, I think what Barbados has done is setting up the vaccination service and availability that it has is fantastic. It really is brilliant compared to anywhere else I've been in the world. And there's no excuse, absolutely none, for anybody on Barbados not to get vaccinated. Unless, unless there is a really severe medical condition, but there's not many of those around. We came over to Barbados. Uh, obviously, we had to do a test prior to flying over to Barbados. Uh, and then when we got over here, we had to do a, another test and then just quarantine until the results come through, which took less than 24 hours, really. So look, we landed on the Sunday and the, the Monday morning we was allowed to come out. And uh, yeah, which I th looks like it's, it's just keeping everybody safe.